Hey guys, welcome back. It's Friday night, freestyle in the building. My goodness, you could tell we had canes today. Mm. If only it was just paid sponsorship, right? It's definitely not. I wish. Totally wish. Mm. Get rid of that ice. Welcome to Friday Night Freestyle. This is a painting show where we literally make it up as we go. So I'm going to get nice and zoomed in, so don't leave. Let me prep and get ready. As you guys know, or if this might be your first Paint With Josh video and you don't know, uh, a lot of times I'm not ready and not on time. Look, I don't even have my gloves on. So let me get ready. Don't leave us. Don't leave. Let's check the cameras. We're going to look at the angles. We're going to see all the stuff. So don't worry about it. See, on Facebook, we got to move a little bit. There we go. YouTube's looking good. Okay, now we're going to zoom in once we get started, so don't leave, like I said. Or wait, if you do leave, come back. You'll see it take about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, we'll be done with the show. And we'll have a fantastic painting that we just literally made up just out of our heads, right? That's all we got to do. Make it up as we go. Now we got the gloves on. We're going to put, uh, firstly, let's see here. i got to get in the habit of doing this. We've covered our canvas with Artist Loft Level 1 White Gesso. It's an acrylic white gesso. It dries very fast and it fills in all the little dimples and stuff in our canvas where a lot of the times with these uh, more inexpensive, more value packed canvases, they kind of soak in the paint really quickly, right? So it dries too fast, it makes it harder to, to kind of do the technique. So you have to gesso it. And that's the gesso that we like to use. And now we're gonna cover it with Bob Ross liquid white oil paint. <coughs> oh, hello, babe. Sorry, sorry for the burps. They just saw me chug canes, soda. Let's see, how do we look? How do we look? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, Bob Ross Liquid White, like I was saying, it's a very wet paint and it stays wet for a while and allows us to blend all these oil paints together. So, let's get a brush out. I'm going to show you how to do it. A lot of people don't know how to do it, they don't know how much to use. So, what we did was shook up our jar. No wonder my hands were covered in paint earlier. There's like a. There's some excess around the jar somewhere that we just can't find yet. Okay, so we shook up our jar, let's open it up. And whatever gets trapped on the inside of the lid, just from shaking it up, is what we're gonna try to use. We're gonna try to stretch that across our entire canvas. So let's start here. All right, we're gonna come up in the corner, just drop a little bit in every area. You don't wanna have it too thick in one spot. If you dump all your white up here in the corner, it's gonna be hard to get it to blend. Had a piece of it come out on my glove. We can use that ah, little drip like that. It's gonna be hard to get you know, to stretch it as far as you need to stretch it. So, dump it in a little place, all over the place, not just one place, all over the place. And then you can go back and crisscross until it's nice and wet and slick. And you should be able to tell a difference, even on the camera, just from how wet it will look to the with the lights that we have in the room here. Let's see. So you don't want to do too much. You got to stretch your paint. You don't want to have a big clump. You don't want to have it too thick. It's got to be very, 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 very thin, just barely covering the canvas and making it all this uniform sort of wet very simply and easily just like that let's get the last little bit that's in the jar lid here just like that right nothing will fall out now we got the majority of it yeah see now we gotta drop a little bit over there a little bit over here a little bit over here and just try to stretch it stretch it up make it reach that area that's a little bit dry and cover our canvas and then we're gonna get started with the most gorgeous sunset painting you've ever seen in your life. And I'm going to show you how to paint it step by step. Okay, get your canvases, get them nice and wet and slick and ready to go. Maybe you guys are ready and I'm just, I'm slow tonight. I did a lot of heavy lifting today and uh, I'm really feeling it on my arms for sure. Okay, let's go in and get the sides wet because we're going to want to prep the sides just like you prepped the, the front, really. And that way you can finish the sides easy. It'll be a nice little, be easier to blend it, trust me. All we're doing is dabbing a little bit, just making sure we get our sides. Ooh, I picked up a little bit of color up there from something. That's okay. We'll use it. Damn, it's gone. You can literally blend it away. Now we're gonna cover the edge. Pop, 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 pop. If this is the first time you're watching a Paint With Josh video, make sure you comment, tell us where you're from, what's your favorite sandwich, what time it is where you are, right? Answer all three of those questions in separate comments. Every time you comment, it sends it out to another another one of your friends or someone else who follows you and they're gonna get this notification that this person commented on this video they're gonna come and check it out right so the more comments we have the more reach that we're gonna have especially on YouTube you guys got to comment on YouTube and not during the live really uh, but more 
on the videos that you watch afterwards when we're not live, make sure you leave a comment. Like even if you've commented during that live video and you go back and you rewatch it, comment again and that way I can see your name and have a little interaction with you, right? That's what we like to do. Okay, we're gonna wash our brush in our old nasty cup. It's got uh, low odor mineral spirits. I'll show you right here in a second. We're gonna go into the brush, <laughs> into the can, into the bucket. Now this bucket is just a five gallon bucket. It's got a golf ball basket down inside the bottom of it. And that's what I had in my garage when I first started painting. And we've used it ever since. So it just gives you just a little crisscross of a pattern that you can beat your brush on and keep it contained inside the bucket. Another cool idea is putting a rod through the center of the bucket, you know, about most of the way down. And then that'll give you a space where you can beat the brush and still keep it all contained. Okay, let's go through our colors. Now that our canvas is nice and wet, the way to check is you don't wanna to have too much. A big old glob of it is not gonna be good. You wanna be able to see the ridges of your fingerprint or if you're using gloves, all, there's a billion little tiny dimples on this canvas and when you touch it, that's what you'll see. If you have too much paint, it's not gonna work. All right, let's do the cup technique tonight because I love it so much. Get out your old nasty Dixie cups, right? You can tell we like doing sunsets in this one because now it's turned all to yellow. It used to be all different colors and now it's just this nasty yellow bit. So let's do our sun right over here. I love it over there. Okay, now in order to do that, we're going to grab up our paint. We're going to come in here, get a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow onto our brush. And that makes the yellow even brighter than it already is. And it's one of the brightest colors that I have just straight out of the tube. But I want to have it even brighter. And it's going to be become even brighter once we put it with this white that's on the canvas as well. And the reason we use the cup is so we can retain a nice little white circle on the inside that's gonna be our sun. So push nice and hard. You want it to be a, a good area that you can have and uh, where you can grab it with your other brushes, right? So it doesn't have to be this perfect thing. Look, we're just going all over the place. Bam, just like that. We got our sun. Have a good day, everybody. That's the end of the video. All right, <laughs> let's, let's get zoomed in real quick. So everyone can see nice and up close what we've got going on over here. Got that on Facebook, get over here on YouTube. Hello to everyone on YouTube. Thank you for watching and tuning in and checking it out. All the guys on Facebook, make sure you hit the share button. Make sure you're tapping the screen. Open up the screen to a nice full screen where you see all the little emojis around the bottom and just tap them all like crazy. All of them. That helps Facebook basically realize that the video that we're doing is kind of cool. And the more little tappies we get, the more it's going to promote it and send it out to other people. So people that aren't even that have never even seen paint with Josh videos before and they're gonna go what's this guy he must be doing something cool okay now we're gonna take our yellow we're gonna pull it away pull it away and pull it in slightly right from every angle though if we're on the bottom we need to be going up if we're on the top we need to be going down just like a clock pop, 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 pop. so we have that little white section retained in the center right we're not really worried about blending it out and that'll that's gonna be right where our sunlight is the brightest area now, what we need to do while I'm all over the place, here we go, I'm glad we're zoomed in so you guys can't see me all over the place, and take the smallest amount of red. And when I'm talking about small, like grab up a little bit and then take half of that, right? Because you never, you never know, it gets so, so powerful. And that little bit of red is gonna turn this yellow into this gorgeous orange color, just like we learned back in school. Red and yellow make orange, right? Now I'm gonna take some of that orange I'm gonna cover around the side. You can see it's slightly, and, and just immediately how much lighter it tried to get on us. Because we did not grab up near enough paint to make a big enough pile, right? It wants to, to mix in with all this liquid white so fast. Who is angry on YouTube, uh, on Facebook? If you're angry, just leave. <laughs> well, I did say hit all the emojis. Well, yeah, not the angry, angry one. one. Obviously not the angry one. Look at that nice, soft, beautiful orange color. And it's going to mix in and turn and change. And now we're grabbing a little bit more red and a little bit of crimson, just the smallest little bit. Bring those two together. And that's going to be a much more beautiful, slightly different color as well. And look just how dark it is to how light it becomes just from working with that liquid white. So go back in if you want it a little bit darker and you can add color in different places. All right, just making a big circle around our whole little eyeball back here. That's all we're really doing. Hey guys, I know that Josh didn't mention it very much, but if you are watching on Facebook, 
uh, please do go and hit those emojis. Try and leave the angry emoji alone because that makes Facebook think that that's so much. Yeah, isn't very good. Thought I'm making you mad. Um, so if you are uh, on YouTube and you are watching, please, please, please okay. join in the conversation. I am active in the conversation. Would love to talk to you. Yeah, Lennon will definitely, she'll reply to all your comments, she'll ask your questions, so we don't have to stop and look at the camera and go, uh, what, what did you say? What's your, what's this username? And she's, she's such a help to all of these live videos, it makes them go so much smoother, that when I go do these live events like I'm doing tomorrow, I miss her. I miss you, honey. You are vital to my success. There we go. I really want to make it darker down in the corners and up in the corners, right? So we have this bit that's going to guide your eyeball down here to the center. And you don't want to have too much paint, obviously, on your brush. This is going to be very hard because that's a lot of paint that, would, that has to mix with a little bit of paint, right? So it's going to be very dark over here. I'm going to try to save a lot of this and not really go through it. Again, back into that blue. Maybe a little bit of black, too. Just a little bit. Sorry, I hit anger and enthusiasm. Oh, that's funny. Who was that? Uh, Patty Ross. Patty! Blaine Woodington says, I'm angry because Facebook keeps freezing. Is it freezing? I don't know. It doesn't it's make any sense. Time. Makes zero sense. Okay, we're just going to cover around the bottom. Now we've got to go in and wash our brush. We, we might as well make this little area soft back here. Just don't touch in too far. It's going to want to grow. That blue will reach all the way over here into the yellow and turn green immediately. So let's wash the brush. By the way, we didn't show, this is what we use, odorless mineral spirits from a company called Clean Strip or Jasco. They both work perfectly, they don't stink, and uh, they're awesome. Bam, right into the bucket. All right, nice and clean brush, dab it on a paper towel though. You don't wanna have it be super um, wet when you go back up to your canvas, it's really gonna mess with you. But you don't want it to be perfectly dry either, right? There are a couple little striations of wetness on my glove there. Now we're going to go into our most brightest area, being that white spot, just very softly. Start to mix that together, trying not to lose that bright white area, right? And as we come out here, very lightly mixing these oranges and yellows together, because I don't want them all to turn into the same color. If it is, but, I'm sorry, if it is freezing on Facebook, you are more than welcome to go over to YouTube. Um, unfortunately, there's not much I would need. It's, I mean, the, the, the Wi-Fi should be, I turned it back on, so should be good. Back out here into our crimson area, and where we put that extra color, it's going to want to grow. See how much different that is from there to there? It's going to want to grow quickly. So don't let it take over your whole scene, right? Very light, very lightly rubbing on the canvas, just blending it just enough to where it's not gonna to try to overtake everything. I have these very soft little bits of sky. You can almost not even tell where the yellow and the orange and the crimson were to begin with. It's all just one little soft progression. Right? You can bring some of your crimson in if you wanted to, change up the whole look. If it looks too much like a, like a circle or it's not blended out enough, you can kind of work into there, grab up a little bit of that, maybe a little bit of the color from up top and maybe we'll come across just by tapping like that, you get this soft little cloud starts to form back there. Soft little thing. It's just a shadow. You don't have to worry about anything. Maybe we'll turn the brush over. We'll go back this way. Just like that. Cool little thing. Just way off in the distance. Soft little clouds. We're, we're really going to work on clouds in this tutorial today. We are going to blast clouds like you won't believe. I'm going to paint the most gorgeous sunset you've ever seen. So stay tuned. All right, now that this is nice and soft and blended, we've got a little bit of cloud. See, like this guy over here, this color wants to keep growing and growing. And that may end up being the shadow of another cloud that comes out or connects in with this guy down here just by sitting and playing, right? That's all we're doing. Now, this whole thing just became a cloud by connecting this little section to this. You don't know where the cloud stops. We're going to have to highlight it and figure out where it actually is. And the reason that I don't go out here and touch into this color minus it turning green is that I want it to kind of look like it's blending in from this pink, almost like a vortex and suck back into that nice area. Very cool. You can let your clouds go as far as you want or not at all or whatever. Yours is going to be different than mine and that's what's perfect about painting. 
is that it's going to be different. It's never going to be the same. Look at how far that blue wants to come in. See it? Just getting darker and darker. Maybe we'll save an area like that. Man, now we got that really bright bit down here. Very lightly work into that. And maybe connect those dark areas up in here. Our whole sky doesn't have to be super yellow or super pink, right? Doesn't all have, look at that. And these two, maybe they connect somehow into there. We got this whole little thing starting to come, and we haven't even done anything, right? I haven't done anything. I haven't planned anything out. It's just whatever it starts to look like. And you go, ooh, that's kind of cool. If this is like coming around here and it connects in, and this maybe gets sucked around, and it's, you got all this depth and everything inside here just from playing around with color, right? Not losing everything, not making everything the same. And that way we have super bright areas, really, really bright areas, a little bit of yellow, orange, crimson, all these into the purple, into the blue, which again is going to want to grow, so let it grow a little bit. And you can kind of shape your whole sky just like that. We're going to make the most gorgeous sky you've ever seen in your lives. So stay tuned. Julie is asking about the teal hat. The teal hat. Oh, hello. The teal hat. Go ahead. What's the question? Uh, she said, do you have the teal hat? I can't decide if I want the one Josh has on or the teal one. Okay, so I have the black and silver one on. Uh, the black and teal is just going to be, you're going to have the teal in the front right here. And I used to have one. I think we have got, yeah, maybe I threw it away. It got really old. But it's a very beautiful teal color. Like, that was my favorite hat. It was my on-screen painting hat initially. Uh, if you go back and look at some of the older videos, I wore that hat every single time. And, uh, yeah, I've not had it with the Paint With Josh logo. I've only ever got the black on black and the black and silver with the, uh, with the rainbow logo in there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I would recommend any of the colors. I almost want to get, like, a green or, no, like an orange one and then have a different color bill or something. Or maybe have an orange bill. I was thinking about it earlier today. You look tired, babe. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired too. I'm trying to, to put on a happy face for everybody. You're just too relaxing. I could just sit here. <laughs> yeah, if we don't get any comment responses, London fell asleep accidentally. Yeah. Which is okay. I am relaxing. We've relaxing. had many comments before that say like, oh, my, my, um, son or daughter or, or father or mother or this or that, you know, has a, a certain issue and we put this on and they fall asleep almost instantly and it's been so great for our family and we want to say thank you. And it's just, it's like, it's crazy to me. I, I'm just a guy in this house that, that paints and I, I, I love everybody. I love all you guys. I feel about right? Yeah, London's getting massively huge on TikTok, by the way. Like, not, maybe not, you know, in numbers as of right now, but the people that watch her stuff, like, really love her. Like, they get, you know, as you guys do. You got anybody that's ever interacted with London loves her. So go to TikTok.com slash at London is hilarious, and uh, you'll be able to check out her channel. It's really awesome. She goes live every, what, every day, babe? Um, yeah, I do... Noon for five hours and then midnight for five hours. Yeah, so 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Our time is like, what, it's 7 right now. So do your own math, right? She goes from 12 to 5. You can catch her any part during the day from wherever you live. I'm sure she'll be live somewhere. And then, uh, you, what were you saying? I do midnight to 5. And then midnight to 5 a.m. on some nights. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday night, I do during the day. Saturday, I do during the day, but I don't do the midnight lives on right. Saturday. So most of the time, it's if you're up late and you can't sleep. And you just got something on your mind, you got to get off your chest. London's page is where to go. Yep. It's like an open forum of speaking about anything, about yeah. experiences you've had. You hear experiences from other people. It gets very powerful and very touching. Uh, and I only hear little snippets. Because I'm such a soft, like, I'm such a sap. Like, you if I stayed and listened, I would too. cry. Yeah, no, I was, yeah, it was awesome. I love that people come in and they go, you know, I heard, or I, was I was watching your live from the other night, and I just had to come back and say how awesome you were at moderating that situation, or, you know, how great your story was, or how it inspired me, and it's just, it's, it's, it's really cool. Like, London has found her people. There we go. And it's super interesting to hear, you know, other people's either horror stories or success stories or 
thoughts on whatever, you know what I mean? It's just a, it's an open, safe space to discuss all sorts of stuff. So, London is hilarious on TikTok over there. I mean, she's hilarious in real life, <laughs> but on TikTok, she is also hilarious and very serious at times. Yeah. So it's not all, not all funny stuff. But yeah. I like your, some of your older stuff too, where you like, you lip sync or like, she's so pretty guys. Like when she's, when she's singing, there we go. We're going to have to do the white on the bottom down here and save the top shadow because all of our light, right? We hit the bottom. She, like, I don't even watch videos with sound. I just watch her because she's so pretty. Hashtag no filter on London, by the way. <laughs> Damn, look at that little bit of white mixed in with that little bit of shadow. And we have this very soft, totally undecisible for differences or anything. You can just tell there's a cloud back there. I'm going to go back to that same brush. Which side do we use? We use that side. I can tell by the amount of color on there. And maybe we're going to come down off of this guy and just bounce in a couple little soft things. Just on the top of our shadows, right? It's going to be very close to what the actual uh, white... It's actually even brighter. Well, no, it's got a little pink tinge to it now. But it's going to be very close to what we want our bright white sun to be. It's going to draw your eye in this super brightness, right? Very, very, very softly. I can't even explain. I'm only using like four of these hairs on the, on the very end, just to disturb it just a little bit. You don't want to get rid of all of it because some of those details are going to be inside your, your little thick areas, right? Take some areas, blend them out, blend them to where you, can, where you can't even tell, right? If, if you can't tell and I can't tell, then we got a wicked, wicked sunset. Like, can you tell where I stopped going? It's just all blend in together. We have to have shadows. We have to have all sorts of stuff, right? Little things. We're going to work very slowly and take our time on the clouds. Little things, little movements, little pressure. Everything is little. And now everything is starting to grow. We get these gorgeous things with no shadow or anything, just the color that we had underneath. It's fantastic. Now I'm going to look and see that there seems to be, if we could make like a bit of cloud that covers that and, le and leaves these two little bits open. That would look kind of cool. So how do we do that? We got to stick one underneath and we got to put one on the top. Now, because it's very bright up here, <clears throat> we need to get a clean brush. Oh, I threw that other brush away. Oh, no, I didn't. This right here. So the top came off this sucker the other day again. So since it's bright-ish, we don't want to go super dark color. Maybe we can grab some crimson. We might have to get more crimson out of the bag, actually. <clears throat> and a little bit of our blue, uh, sorry, our red. And then we'll come in and maybe decide, I love that soft little floater. Maybe that there's like a, a bit of this darkness in here. Just this deep red, crimsony color. Then take that, <coughs> excuse me, same thing. Just very lightly mixing it in, right? You just wanna have that little difference. See how it's added some things, maybe picking up some light from, from above there. And then we can take and literally dump in just by smushing whatever we got left on the brush because it's a very soft little far away floater, right? Don't need too much attention on this guy. Very softly, just like we did down here. So soft. Bam, 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 bam. Can't even tell if we're still in the clouds, if we're in a shadow. That's very cool. Very cool. I've tied, it's almost like the sunset that we got over here. And now that I'm zoomed in, I'm sure everyone can't see the painting I'm talking about. <clears throat> but we've, uh, we have one more taped painting for uh, the Sunday Seascapes. So I've painted it. It's over here. And um, it's a very beautiful, soft little seascape. And it's already sold. Sold today. I just painted it last night. It sold today. Went to uh, one of my best clients and fans and everything else, a guy named Richard who lives in South Carolina. Thank you, Richard, for your order. We also had an order from, uh, oh, I'm going to look like such a butt right here because I can't remember the name of the other guy who bought the painting today, who bought the, the pride flag painting. He's got like a, I think it might be Richard too, actually, or it's something with an R, but he's a, he's an artist himself and he's got little, uh, he has a store or a website. So I wanted to say thank you for purchasing that pride flag painting. It was one of my favorite waves. Who? Sorry. Name, his name is Paul. Paul? So it's, uh, what was his website? He, he said it in the, in the, um, like the message to the artist or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm going there right now. A little bit of white, li just literally mushed it on. 
Okay, very softly, very soft. Look, it's so almost the same. You, don't, you can't even tell what's going on back here. What is going on? Don't want to lose all of that, that shadow, right? Shadow. It's such a light bit of shadow. It's not. It's way lighter than this color is up here. Soft, 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 soft. Look, oh, everything's just kind of... I almost, I, I so want to do a seascape. Like, it's it's so set up for a seascape, if but I we take, can't do if that. If I take this tiger balm with me, yeah. and I just wave my hand in front of my face, it burns my eyeballs, it might be the way to stay awake. <laughs> By rubbing tiger balm in your eye no, holes? I'm not rubbing it in my eye holes. <laughs> a little bit of red. Just waving my hand in front of blue my and face. Black. You know, like sometimes when you Oh, when you're like, you get that yeah. little snorter thing? Yeah. Where it's supposed to wake you up? All right, let's get that much darker color because we're coming up here into our darker thing and we want to push a few things back and maybe there's a big old monster cloud that lives up in here, but I don't want to get too close to the yellow because it's going to go, there's a lot of blue in here, right? And I don't want to cover over too much of that guy and I need crimson, need crimson when you go across your yellow to keep it from going crazy, just like that. That's our cloud, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, does anyone know, class, why? Why we leave these areas unpainted, right? Look at all these areas that are unpainted. Why do we do that? Because we're gonna mix, we're gonna grow, right? It's gonna grow down into these areas. It's gonna grow away, it's gonna grow here, it's gonna grow there. So you have to leave space, otherwise you're gonna have way too much paint, very softly. All we're looking for is just differences in color, guys, right? Differences in color. I was telling Gemma had sent me a thing. Oh, I'd, I'd sent Gemma a picture of the, the new painting that's coming out because she's a Super Squad member. So I was like, okay, I'll send it over to her. Knew she was awake. She was, it just like liked one of my photos. And uh, I totally just lost track what I was about you to say. You sent Gemma the No, I know that. Yeah, but I, I forgot why I brought it up now. Oh. Um, why did I? Oh, oh, differences in color. So, uh, she had shown me a painting that she'd been working on or was going to scrape and, and redo over you know, or the sky in one of the paintings. And I was like, oh, uh, I said something. I was like, oh, you know what I'm going to say? And she goes, perspective. And I was like, no, differences in color. What's wrong with you? It was funny. Every time, apparently, every time she thinks I'm going to say perspective, I say differences in color and vice versa. So differences in color. It's on the back of the shirt. Very soft. Look at that. Get that kind of drag. Take our white so softly, leaving all those dark areas, right? We don't want to cover them all. Look at that. It's fantastic. Work it. Work at it. Make it soft. Don't have any hard lines in there. You can blend it. You can fix all this. You can add it back. You can do all sorts of stuff. Now we have these multi layered clouds, bunch of distance, bunch of depth. Take some blue and some black, and now we're gonna come in with a little bit of kind of bottom to this guy, right? Mad Merlin is watching from Telford in the UK. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking us out, Mad Merlin. Right, if, we're, if we pull off to the side, now we've created a bottom to that cloud, right? This creates the, the illusion that the top one here is in front of this one that's along the bottom. That's far off in the distance. And if we can do just a little bit more, Maybe a little bit more crimson. I'm fearing I'm going to have to get the crimson out anyway. There we go. All right? Just making it flat. Now we're going to stretch it little bits at a time until we get it to what we want it to look like. All right? Now, maybe you can take a little bit of that color, pull it down just a little bit. Maybe it looks like it's raining off, you know, somewhere else. I'm going to do a shout out to Phoenix. Shout out to Phoenix. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. I thought you had a, a nose moment. No, I'm good. Let's do a little bit more darkness over here, Can too. Can you do that same technique in acrylics? Uh, well, I don't paint in acrylic because I can't paint in acrylic, if that makes any sense. Uh, when I try to paint like this in acrylic, it does not come out like this at all. Uh, acrylics, they, they dry too fast for me, even with the water, it's, it's done. Like I like, I, in my, hey, if this is the first time you ever watch one of my videos, I like to go back up here sometimes, right? Because even though we work our way down, sometimes I see something that like we might have to add another little bit of cloud up in here. And I like to be able to go back and have it still be wet and maneuverable 
to where I can move it and do things like I want to do them. Um, yes, ma'am. Oh, this is my this is my acrylic painting. Right, it's very dark. Uh, the the colors didn't blend very well, especially the black and the blue. It was very much just the two different colors. Um, but yeah, it's they don't work as well for me when I try acrylics. It's a cool look, especially that tree on the side. It's a very neat little tree, but they just it just I just don't like it. I just don't like it at all. Thanks, baby. <clears throat> look at this. Yeah, we may just do just a cloudscape today, guys. I'm feeling it. Now we're gonna have to chuck something back in here. Far away mountain or something. I don't want to come down too far because then we won't be able to do anything else or we're just gonna waste time and have to cover over the clouds that we're doing anyway, right? So again, come back in. Maybe we leave just a little bit of just thick area on the top that it's gonna work its way down. Come over here. And bam, bam, just covering over some of it, right? You don't have to cover the whole thing. The whole shadow, if you cover it all, why did we paint the shadow there? You have to have it, it provides depth. Now look, we're gonna take this, we're gonna pull it down, push it a little bit harder than the other ones, because I want it to grow down and cover over that. See that? Just very quickly and easily. And again, like I said, you don't even have to cover everything. You wanna have little differences. I ain't taking a nap, I ain't taking a nap right yet. London's gonna take a nap. I ain't taking a nap right yet. <laughs> you guys, she's laying on the floor, guys. She's on the floor. Oh. You know what? We're gonna continue this little guy. I'm gonna make a little pillow off this towel. Make I a play pillow play out of what? Respond to comments while laying on the floor. There we go. Nice little soft little thing again. Gonna work its way. Right? You don't have to just use the brush in one way. You know what I mean? If you wanted to do it this way and blend it that way, if that worked for you, then that works for you. You know what I mean? So make do do all sorts of different things. Try, experiment, be bold. Try something new. There we go. Looks like we're pushing it under that white. Like that's another little layer of depth. This guy, we're probably gonna lose the entire cloud. Just because no, I want to. I'm not really asleep, guys. So if you have put any a questions over here. or comments. Yeah, please, <laughs> please remember to hit that share button. Yes. Yes, please. Share, share, share. Share five times. I don't care. Damn. That is one gorgeous piece of work right there, you guys. You know, if you turn correctly, I can see up your pant leg. Oh, you can see up it. <laughs> that's kind of uh, that's kind of hot. Well, yeah, it's a small room. <laughs> There we go, a little bit of color underneath in a very flat angle. Again, just pull it off flat, doesn't have to be perfect. You want it to be imperfect, it even gives it more depth if it's imperfect. Right, you guys see it? Does anyone else see it? It's someone on YouTube just wrote, R.I.P. London. <laughs> yep, that's me laying on the floor. <clears throat> Again, very softly. And then whatever you don't like or you don't want it to be straight, Damn, just like that. I mean, we could dump rainstorms in the distance just by pulling down. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's let's make up a mountain now. I need crimson paint. Maybe can you? Oh God, I got Sorry. it. I got it. Yeah. There we go. I wouldn't be able to get out. Yeah. Hand right. All right. Got some crimson on our palette again. London's trying to pull my shorts to the side so she could look up them. <laughs> Babe. Yeah, we need Michael in here. So he I can like his, it. So he can do his Trump impression while we're while <laughs> Yeah, that guy was pretty crazy with his Trump impression. It was spot. I was dying on the couch. Yeah. Well, it was when spot he, on. I didn't know that he did Black, blue, crimson, sorry. Right. And he came into my life, and the first thing he said was, um, like, in Trump's voice. I mean, it's <laughs> so spot on. A little bit of white. He said... Uh, he said, just scrolling through TikTok, he said, I see that you think you're hilarious. He's like, I'm here to tell you, London, you are not hilarious. <laughs> and I was just dying in the comments. Like, That's I funny. always forget that you can say certain things on Facebook and YouTube and you can't say them on TikTok. Oh, right. So, in my yeah, head, TikTok I'm like, is very... I'm like, I, I unalived. Yeah, unalived. Why he, <laughs> he was saying it. But, Instead of died. Yeah, because you can't say that on TikTok. Well, that's why we like Facebook and YouTube better for these lives. Yeah, for there we go. Sure. Again, doesn't matter, guys, right? Literally doesn't. Watch. I'll take this, close my eyes. 
to smush it on. It's way down there, way not even where I wanted it to be. But it doesn't even matter. Same old dirty brush. Haven't washed this brush one time since doing the entire bit of clouds. And this little bit of white, it's just a little bit too bright over there we go. So all you gotta do, play with it until you like the way that it looks, and then you're done, right? Take this guy down here, pull him in different directions. <laughs> a mountain is not just a solid one directional thing. The euphemisms are fire. Oh, always. Just play with it till you like it and then stop. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. That's how Josh does it. Just plays with it until he's done. Until he likes it. <laughs> Just like that, we've got a really cool looking mountain, but we have to add a little bit more dark paint to this darker side. So it kind of gives us the impression it's in the, the shadow back there. Hey, Josh. Yes, ma'am. What brand of paints do you use? So I use the Bob Ross brand. Currently, right now, we're using Bob Ross brand paint. Uh, but I also use uh, Winsor & Newton. The, the white on the canvas is actually, uh, on the canvas, on the palette, is actually Winsor & Newton uh, white paint. Uh, then I have the Magic Fly set. We use Gamblin 1980 every so often. It just depends on what I have. I bought a bunch of the, the Ross set um, right before the documentary came out. And then everybody started hating on the you know, and I, I, hating on people that used that, you know, paint or supported that company. And I was like, I'm not supporting that company. I'm supporting Amazon. That's where I buy my paint. You know what I mean? And I like this paint. I don't, you know, it, it, whatever, wherever Amazon's getting it from, I'm supporting, uh, what's his name? What's the dude's name from Amazon? The guy who owns it. Jeff Bezos? Yeah, I'm supporting Bezos, right? Not BRI, because that's where I get my stuff from. Now, where they get their stuff from, you go have your conversation with them. <clears throat> But I like this paint. I've heard Van Gogh is very good um, for another, you know, option or a different option for brands. But you can get Windsor and Newton or Gamblin right at Michaels and Hobby Lobby. Um, you know, I buy the big giant tubes. They're twenty dollars a piece, just about the same as Bob's. Uh, they just don't have the exact same colors, right? So you'll have to kind of mix match on what color names and learn the new names and little differences and all sorts of stuff. But uh, yeah. Gotta have big, thick paints. We use Magic Fly every so often, which is another brand. It's very bright, vibrant colors, like gold and silver, and uh, there's tons. There's like, the set I got was like 40 different colors. And um, we use those when we do our psychedelic, like space paintings and stuff, and all sorts of things, um, you know. And so those are good brands as well. Good question, good question. All right. Came back. Oh, she left? You left? Yeah, thanks. I didn't even... <laughs> thanks, baby. Didn't even notice. Oh, you're so With funny. You Let's do a desert. Yeah. I know Dave Mann wants me to do a desert. Speaking of Dave Mann, I haven't even told you about this yet, babe. Okay. So Dave Mann has done many, many, many of my tutorials, and especially the American flag painting, right? Mm -hmm. And he has sold a fair amount of those paintings. And he messaged me and he goes, hey, is there any way I could like Venmo you, you know, something from your shop? And I said, no, you, you got to go in and, and actually buy it from the, the store to keep my taxes good. But I was like, what are you looking at getting? You know, I could send you an invoice through Shopify or whatever. He's like, well, I've done a lot of your paintings. I've sold like a ton of them. And I just want to give something back to you for giving me the idea that led me to all these sales by redoing my, this, you know, American flag painting over and over and over again with different variants. You know what I mean? I was like, that's really cool. Like, I appreciate that you want to give back something. You know what I mean? Anything. A purchase, uh, the hat. He wanted to get a, like a hat and a couple stickers maybe, right? Which is awesome. So fantastic. Because I've taken and, and helped him kind of sell and, and make whatever money it was. And it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a million dollars. It could be $50. It doesn't matter what it is. The, the tutorials that we did helped him do those make and make that money. Make money for him and his family. Do you guys see that? I just came up here like this, babe. Look. Oh, Because the head fell off. His, our brush's heads are falling off. <laughs> is your From Dumb and Dumber. Anyone else get that? No. Is our your, pet's heads are falling off. Is your pants? It is your pants. My pants? What's wrong with me tonight? Is your pants? I'm sleepy. You know what's really funny? From what? all the way over here, there's zippers on the back of your shorts that like eyeballs. Um, awesome. Is your palette what was uh, that noise? easy to clean? Okay. Yes, uh, this one you can tell if you leave it for too long, then no. then no, it's very hard to come off. But if you clean it up after every painting, then yeah, it's very, very easy to keep clean. 
Uh, I like this size one. I haven't ever had the Bob Ross giant one. I'm sure with my tight uh, area where we do these videos, it wouldn't be the best. But uh, I, I love this little this little easel uh, palette and easel. I love everything. Everything I use, I love. And you can get everything that I use in my Amazon uh, affiliate shop, Amazon.com slash shop slash paint with Josh. I did also Go over there and check that out. The link tree, so. Oh, thanks, Mama. Yeah, if you look at the link tree that London put out, it'll have all of the link. You click on that and then you'll open it up and it'll say, you know, shop my my website, shop my store, Why check out them out on YouTube, do this, do that. It won't let me comment. Why can't I comment? Have you had too many comments? I don't know. No. No. Man, I love it. Has anyone said like they like the sky in this one or anything? Yeah, everybody. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I, I'd like to hear some of those. No, I leave, all, I leave all the comments that tell you how wonderful you are so you can read them when you're alone. That's <laughs> true. I do go back and read uh, some of the comments afterwards. I can't obviously get to all of them. I have to live, right? That's a cool way to almost make it look like the top of your mountain has gone up inside of a cloud. Just redo a bit of cloud over the t over the over the peak. It'd be very difficult to do once we cover it in snow, though. <clears throat> and then it's going to get very hard to do. Let's do a crazy peak on this one too, like a like a little Patsy Mount Crumpety towel. Thank you. Right, and whenever you go up like this with, very, with something very sharp, you have to extend the rest of it. Otherwise, it's not going to make any sense. Why would the rocks be up like that? Troy oh, they're up like that because it's almost like a wave. Troy Fazio like says that he loves this guy. Troy Fazio is the man. He's, uh, he's been a fan for a long, 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 long time. I don't know what the deal is with the fireworks. No, neither do I. Uh, Mad Merlin on YouTube. Mm, um, I don't think I like that. Where did you send the PM? <laughs> so that I can locate it and figure it out. What are you talking about? Uh, they, they commented on YouTube and said that they had sent a PM, a private message. So I'm trying to find out where the private message is. Oh, okay. So. There we go. Again, this is the best part, right? We can change our mountain. We can adjust. You can do whatever you want. Just make it jagged and nasty and mean looking, right? Make it mean. Julie Strope on YouTube wants a desert too. Yeah, I think we're gonna rock desert. I know Dave Mann wants a desert. He he watched one of the old videos and said, do you have a tutorial for that scene on that oval canvas that I did? Remember that oh, one? Yeah. And I was like, no, I don't have a tutorial for that. But I can do one, so let's do it just with a little different mountain here because I'm liking this mountain so much. Like maybe like another little ridge comes off right here. We get all that darkness down in there, making the mountain more 3D now. By pulling off in different directions, as we get down to the bottom, we go off more to the side than anything else. This beautiful little rigid mountain right there. Very cool. All right, well, if we're going to do a desert, to me, deserts, because we live in them, have... Uh, by the way, it was 113 degrees today. At least that's what I saw when I was going to get food at 5 o'clock. 113 degrees. Just want to let everybody know. You know, if you think Vegas is like a cool place to come visit, it's really, I mean, it's fun if you stay inside. It's fun if you stay inside. That's but if nice. not, you will die in the heat. I'm telling you from experience, 30 years living in Vegas. I don't know why we still live here. We're even thinking about moving to Eugene, Oregon. Like we're dead serious thinking about it. Dead honest. Look at that. That's a cool looking thing too. And remember, your mountain's going to want to grow just like the clouds want it to grow. Everything's only going to want to get deep down into the foreground, and we don't want to let it get too far down there. There we go, very softly. That's a cool looking mountain. We have a piece that goes off this way with a ridge, slides down, whole little ridge back up here, then another one, so there'll be like a little valley inside here. This one will slide off to the end. And that's how you do it. You can kind of prep, you know, and make something really cool. What is that? It's like a... Julie says the sky is gorgeous. Thank you. Ow. Much appreciated. I have bicep inception tendonitis, and uh... Bicep inception, that means that Leonardo DiCaprio is I'm sorry, inside... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bicep insertion oh, tendonitis. Oh, I like inception no, better. No, it's not Can we do inception? It's I like not, that better. It's not where my shoulder, it's not where my bicep 
incepts with my it's inserts. Right. It's the inserts. bicep is in a dream right now. Your bicep is asleep because you haven't moved it, so it's in a dream world. It is not. I use my arm all and the Le time. And Leo is coming in right now to save it. If it had been in a dream world, it would feel better. Yeah, right. Okay, so let's come back. We're going to grab up this dark stuff. Now we're going to make our flat mesas like I was talking about. That's what's in the desert. With this mesa top mountains that live way off, right? So actually, if it's going to be way off, we need to mix it in with a little bit of white and make it a much lighter color in order to make it look further away. And again, it's going to mix in with white back here as well. So let's take the corner and we'll make like a little flat top little thing. Just lives off in the distance back there. Comes down. And I always like mine to to have like um, another little piece, you know what I mean? Like a little thing, something that, did, that got disconnected. A couple little bits that aren't, that aren't there. They're not connected to the giant bit. There we go. And you can see it's much lighter. Makes it look much further away. Blends in with that color that's way off there. Now watch this. I'll take that darker color now, finish off our mountain down here, and man, that thing just shot back a million miles. Just Troy, by doing that. Troy Fazio is in Utah, uh, in Oregon. Hey, Troy. Where are you at in Oregon, Troy? So you see, we got to keep it dark, though. It's got to stay dark away from that thing. You know, we're going to add some uh, some brown to it, too, anyway. But it's got to stay dark. Jonathan says move to Cape Britain. That's true. That sounds really nice as well. Well, you could go there, and I could go to Oregon. Oh, okay. This guy, I'll see you then. Well, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Push that sucker way back. All right, let's, now before we get too far away, let's go in. We do have some brown on the palette today. It's the Van Dyke brown, which is the darker color of the two browns. We're going to mix that in with that white just a little bit, just to change it. Come up here and see if we can't do just a few little highlights of that brownish color. All right, not everywhere, not all over the place. Doesn't have to be, you know what I mean? They start to kind of pile up at the bottom. All the sand starts eroding off of them. Eroding! 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 See, I got that reference. Oh, okay. Be nice to see a little river coming through the mountains into the foreground. Well... There can't be a river in the desert. Uh, in the deserts that we live in, rivers don't exist. It could be a dry bed. Yeah. Could be that. Okay, very softly with that brownish color brownish whitish just so it changes it's a little different right and then as we work towards this it's going to get darker and darker and darker and darker and darker beaverton oregon is where trey fazio is beaverton i don't know that i don't, I don't know, know that, that is in oregon in relation to eugene yeah i don't know the oregon landscape very flat you mean you don't distance. know the oregon trail the oregon trail i don't <laughs> i don't know that i don't know Okay, a little bit of straight up of that Van Dyke Brown and the... Straight up now, tell me where you're going to live. Me forever. Ow, ow, ow. Is that Bill Bib DeVoe? No, babe, oh. that's Fuller Abdul. Oh, she's worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit of that other she's color. She's a judge on Britain's Got Talent. Uh, I beg to differ. Okay. Here we go. Really going to work it in and scrub it in so it's nice and mixed and soft and blended. Have you been watching any America's Got Talent, Uh, slightly. I, you know, I you like that show. I don't like that show because it makes me ball. I told you guys I'm a big sap, and all I do is just cry when I watch that show. Like bad, sobbing tears, because it's beautiful. It's beautiful. They're living their dream. Like if I were to get up on stage at, uh. You know, America's Got Talent or whatever. Well, it never would. You only get three minutes. Right, three minutes to do a painting. But if I were to get up there and I were to kill and everybody were to love me and, you know, be chanting and clap, my God, I would break down in tears like you wouldn't believe. It'd be the most viral crying video. Like, dude turned into woman and sobbed on stage. There we go. All we're looking for is a little difference back there, right? A little bit of difference in color. Put our dark shadow in, come back in with our highlights and little areas, little differences. Very cool. Very cool. Now we have to have something coming in on this side. We can match up with this guy. You know what? We need that other color brown, though. For reals. That is very true. The Grand Canyon does have a desert running through it. Patty uh, Ross says, yeah, river. outside my front door is Strawberry Wilderness. Look it up. I have one stoplight in the whole county. That's cool. We are quite country. That is very cool. 
All right, now we got our Van Dyke or our, our dark sienna out, which is the lighter color of the browns. You can tell the difference. We're gonna get rid of all this stuff right here. Moose is here. Save I that. Have not seen Roberta Harris. Moose. We're gonna take a little bit of that and a little bit of that dark sienna and make that. It's gonna make this gorgeous sandy brown color. All right, we're gonna take this guy and add him on our highlights of this front thing. It's gonna make it stand out very close. Look at that. And then as we go, we're going to change the color of our sand down in here. So the sand will become much brighter as well. Let's see. Not trying to get every single thing or every highlight. All right, just letting it work its way out. Very soft little desert scene. Now, if you mix in a little bit of yellow with that brown, you get a nice change to that color. And it's just gorgeous. Uh, Gemma's back, her phone died. Oh, she was here? Yep. Did she hear me talking about her? Probably not. Ah, there we go. A little bit of brown to Chinatown. Maybe back in here, we've got that little... Oh, those look like stairs, guys. Those look like stairs and a half. All right, if we can do a little I bit... I thought you were going to say stairs and a half. That was quite funny. A little bit of darker brown over the top of those, and we might be able to pull something off later. Might be able to pull something off later. Right over here. Gonna make up some more of that same kind of brownish, whitish color. Ooh, that's very white. A little bit more brown in there. And it all depends on what we do and where we drop and where you stop. You know what I mean? Like we made the mountain this nice dark color for a reason because it needs to stay nice and dark on this backside. And we'll use that same color that we use to make the mountain to create its own shadow. You just pull it off the same way, let it break. Do what it wants to do. Very cool. So we could put a little stairway to heaven back in there, but I don't like it. <laughs> Very lightly, very lightly. Uh, Ventro over in YouTube says, I do a great Biden impression. I just stutter till I fall off my bike. Ah, that's, that's funny. funny. That's funny. All right, let's take this. We'll come over here. Kind of choose a new angle and start to work our way down this way, right? Kind of depositing that paint. Come back. Maybe we hit a little bit over here. But if we're in the shadow of this cliff, it's got to be a little darker, right? So we'll take our darkness, run that down, run it over here. And as we pull all these different colors out, it's going to change the, the look to our landscape in the front. I don't know if Josh has ever been to Arkansas, but I've been to Arkansas. No, I've never been to Arkansas. I went to Little Rock, Arkansas and bought a mug. And bought a mug? You remember the mug with Bill Clinton? Was it the Clintons? Bush? I think I remember that. I think I remember that. The handle of the... What is stuck to me? Plastic from your art room. Plastic from the art room? That's not possible. All right, a little bit of darkness. Again, just to have it break and look like, you know, dirt. Some sort of something back here. Mixing it in. Adding our little differences, our little bits of color. All right, but just on that ridge, can't be all shadow. So we have to add a little bit of our highlight color to that as well. And again, it wants to go white so quickly. There we go, a little bit of yellow in there. Let's do this. And we got a little ridge. It starts to come down. Yeah, just like that. Pull it off slightly down in whatever direction you want so it mixes in with that other paint. And kind of blends in. And we got a little peak of sunlight right on the edge of those guys. And maybe a little bit as it was back here, kind of working its way down. Very cool. Very cool. Little different things. It's all we really look for. Right? When someone's looking to buy your painting, they're going to be like, oh, well, that looks like they, they either took a lot of time or had a lot of differences or it just looks all the same and they didn't take much time at all. Why would I want to buy that? There we go. Maybe we'll take this guy down here and make him a little flat, like he's got a little ledge, a little shadowy ledge underneath him. Something. However it looks to you. There we go. All 
right? Now watch, we're gonna take this whole mountain, make it soft. And if we did our job well enough, it's coming from the side over here, just like that. If we did our job well enough, then we shouldn't really need to add much more color. Like we'll push real hard where we want our, our sand to be, I guess. Stretch it out, changes the color of the dirt of the land, right? Just like that. That's fantastic. Then we can go back in. So you wanted like a little bit of shadow underneath some different things. Maybe pull it down just a little, swipe it off to the side, got a little bit of shadow underneath that bit of dirt. Just so simply and easily done. You just have to know the technique. You have to know how to do it, when to use certain things, what to do when this happens, what to do when that happens. And that's why Paint with Josh is here, right? Now, Light, dark, light, see where we're going? Can't have it all be the same. Just telling Gemma that, differences in color. Can't have it all be the same. You gotta have some darkness in there. Even back here, there's too much light in between that dark, right? Just makes it look like there's another little hill, another little step down, and something's happening way off back there. Way back there. too much fog at the bottom. There we go. We don't want to have it be too much of an area in between those bits of mountain right there. Again, that guy's so far off in the distance. You didn't even know that. You keep leaving me. Oh, You'll be alright. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. Oh, I'm still laying on the floor though. I'm going to break it. You going to take a nap again? No. What Maybe these fireworks are really not, they're really annoying me. Yeah, right? Oh, if we can make that look like there's just a far off little bit of a ridge wall. Oh my goodness. That's it. Call it. That how, is how gorgeous right there. How do the Bob right paints compare to Windsor? Are they real thick or oiled down? Uh, well, I just, the, the colors vary, of course. So like the, some colors are very oily inside the tube and you have to almost prepare a little square of paper towel so you can either shake some of that oil out or or push out a little dab of paint onto there and sort of test it that Are way. Are missing something? Is there a war starting? Like, it's a bit ridiculous. I don't think there's a war starting, but I think people have excess fireworks. Or it could be a holiday that we don't know about. You know what I mean? We do, live in a, Friday. we do live in an area. Uh, Tonya Rodriguez says, I really need to try this one, but I have to wait till the snake decides to unoccupy my building. Oh no! Snakes in the plane. Snakes in the building. Snakes buildings. in the building. <laughs> okay, now I really like this mountain. I don't know what that is. Like, no one told me about that. I didn't what? see that. There's like this little area up here that's weird. It's like a weird color. Yeah. So, we need to make it darker down here. Though. What am I supposed to tell you? Ah, I'm so sleepy. London is so sleepy, right? Take more of that black, fill it in down here. And that way it'll look like our... There we go. I want it to be nice and filled in around here around the bottom. Nice and dark so it takes your eye to this bright area, right? All these dark areas are going to take your eye right here. Be fantastic. Okay, a little bit of that. Why don't we do like a little path or something? Some sort of... Some sort of yeah. something, my love. Maybe it starts way off here. It just kind of comes through. Who knows? Only us. We're the only ones that know. Okay, now I don't want to go too hard with this guy, or it's going to make him disappear and blend in with the other thing, right? Very cool little bit of a path. We have to have some shadow underneath of him, though. So, get our shadow. Throw some lines in there. Guys, remember, if you can tap that screen and share the lives, it does massively boost the video. Yeah, it helps helps hit those emojis and uh, hit not the share the button. One. Sorry, babe, what'd you say? Not the angry one. Yeah, not the angry emoji, though. London gets mad when you hit the angry emoji. I don't get mad. I just don't understand why you're here if you don't know what you see. Like... And you just go somewhere else. It's like when I'm on TikTok and people troll in my comments and they're like, what's the point of this? No one's arguing. Like, why are you being so civil? Like, if you don't like it, you can go. Right. It's not like an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. Yeah. Just leave. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah. There we go. A little bit of mess at the bottom of our mountain. Maybe the, the rains came in hard and it sloshed all down. 
some sort of bit. Now we've got some dark area we can place some cacti and stuff. And then we have our, our path that is giving the impression that it's gone around this dark area and come around the side. Glenn Whittington says big cactus on the left. Oh, definitely. Definitely large cactus time. Mike Wagner says, love watching Josh paint. He looks a lot like my son. Oh, thank you. Your son must be gorgeous. Your son is when so you, good looking. When you say the word gorgeous, all I can think of is that guy from TikTok that's like, gorgeous! Oh. It's gorgeous! Yeah, it's like that. Very softly though, we don't want it to go away. We don't want it to go away. But yeah, your son is like really good looking if he looks like me. He's gotta be, right? You're ridiculous. <laughs> I'm waiting for my wife to go, uh, yeah, babe, of course. Uh, no. no, I'm not here to feed you what you yeah. are. No, my wife is yeah. real. You, you guys should have seen how harsh she was in the beginning you when I was like, babe, how does this look? You and like she's like, uh, it looks like death. followers across your platform. Like, I do not need to be over here boosting you up. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes what? Sometimes you have followers? No, sometimes I need your boosting. I need the... You don't need my boosting. I need the ego boost. An ego boost. You get it. I need it. Time. That's cool back here. That is cool. Yeah, some oh, the, the person that bought my paintings, Paul, you said his name was? Uh-huh. Thank you, Paul, if you're watching. Uh, but Paul was wrote some very nice things as he was buying the painting. <sighs> and uh, I was like, that really helps because, like, I get disheartened sometimes when it seems like, you know, I'm not getting any interaction in the group. Like, I don't want to sound like a baby, but no one's liking my stuff, and it just makes me sad. You, but sound, it's, uh, you sound like a baby. Yeah. But no, I mean, but it's it's nice to get a good compliment every so often and be like, okay, what I'm doing is appreciated because sometimes I feel like I could just stop and no one would even notice or care. You know what I mean? And then that doesn't that's make me want to keep painting. So That's not true. Sometimes I feel like that. I go, man, like I used to get, and I know it's probably Facebook's algorithm that's screwing me over. Like I used to get so much interaction. And then... I was up to like, we were reaching 300,000 people because there was so much interaction going on. And then it died. It went down to like 90,000. I was like, what? Oh no, how sad. Yeah, I'm still putting out good stuff. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, we should talk about the coup that I did in, uh, in my Game of Thrones uh, situation. So if you guys know of Wet on Wet Painting, you probably know of me, right? And if not, you will, because if you're in any of the groups of the Wet on Wet painting groups for Bob Ross style, I either own or admin all of them now. So if you know Wet on Wet, I'm pretty sure you're going to know Paint with Josh. And uh, you might not like that. <laughs> A lot of people don't like me, which is okay. They think I'm trying to be Bob Ross, or I, I think that I'm Bob Ross, or I think I'm better than Bob Ross, or whatever they think that I think. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to just help make it easy for everybody to paint right like if, it, if it's hard for you you're not going to want to do it so if it's easy why do i get ridiculed and call bob like i don't even have my own style i'm just bob ross i guess i'm bob ross reincarnate because apparently i don't have my own style of doing it uh, and even the way that i commentate my videos I thought, is uh, i thought we uh, is like bob ross i thought we pinpointed your the name of your style. Yes, my style, we have figured out, is uh, expressionism. Wait, what is it? It's it's fantastical dark expression. Uh, wait, hang on. Fantastical dark yet vibrantly colored expressionist landscape paintings. <whistles> That's a mouthful. It looks really funny in a hashtag. Yo, oh, geez. The longest hashtag I've ever had was, uh, and I still use it every so often, is the UFO landscape painter because I feel like I'm the only one. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of darkness back in here too. Just on the side of the path. Gotta have little differences, little things on the edge of our path that are doing different things. We're gonna pull it back away from it into that dark shadow so it doesn't cover over our nice area. For some reason, the path will not stay as bright as I want it to stay. So we're going to keep working at it until it's as bright as I want it to be. Three hours later. There we go. Now I don't even think I'm going to do anything else off this side besides put a cactus right here. I'm not going to paint any dirt. 
I'm not going to put any sand down. We're just going to let it kind of, you know, guide its way up here, right around. May even have to take this mountain off the end of the canvas even. We do something, take our path further. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. I don't even really have green. How am I going to do a cactus when I don't even have green on my palette? I've got phthalo green, but it's not the same. It's definitely not the same. Okay, let's get the filbert brush out. Because for a, for a cactus, I think the filbert brush is a good brush to... It's a nice shape. Man, that one's nice and hard. I think it might be time to upgrade filbert brushes. Okay, I'm going to throw a little bit of our, our three mixture, our, our favorite three, and then we're going to add that green color as well. And try to make it just on the tip of the brush. And maybe out here we can get a little... Little guy to come down and live right in there. It doesn't have to be a perfect shape, right? Just like that. Little green. As long as it's the shape of a cactus, which we all know the shape of a cactus. Gotta have a couple arms come off the side. But you don't want your arms to all look the same either. What is going on with this brush? I need to, to work this out. Now I'm gonna have a really fat armed cactus. He's gonna he's gonna be self-conscious about his fat arms. Let's switch to a smaller brush. Come in here. Get some of that green up. Again, we gotta have a dark side and a light side to everything. Boop. Bam, just like that. Cool little bit of a cactus. This brush is much better for this further away one anyway. Bam, just like that. Kind of pushing that little bit back of the mountain, pushing that ridge back, bringing everything down into the center where we need to be down here. Right? This guy's got an arm. Maybe it's a, it's on the edge out there, though, so it's a little bit closer to himself. Comes in like that on an angle, so it's almost like he's just twisted out there, right? And just for good measure, let's make the top a little roundish. There we go. That's perfect. I like that. I like that right there. Right, really dark in the back, though. Very cool. Now we can take any brush you want to make the bush out of. Fan brushes work good. A little bit of black, crimson, blue, that same shadowy color. Just on one corner though, just like we do the seascapes. And you can come in here and pop in just a little bit of bush at the bottom of our cactus. Cute little bugger. All right, I'm going to take the color and pull it back mostly because I don't want to cover over our, our pathway. Right? Kind of giving the impression of a shadow headed back that way. Just like that. I don't want to have it be too crazy though. And to get it to blend, just blend it back up into your mountain like that. Right? We'll create this whole little thing. Now let's switch brushes. We're going to get a little bit of that green on the brush again. A little bit of yellow maybe. Or some red. You can do all sorts of stuff. Mix that with a little bit of liquid white. That's right, so whatever we get. Let's say it's a little bit of green and yellow. Mix it in with that white, and then come back in and just pop in a couple little things. Not everywhere, right? They can't be all over the place. Patsy says you need to add some tumbleweeds. A tumbleweed, definitely. Can't be all over the place, and the ones on the back are gonna be kind of covered in shadow. Right? They're not gonna be lit up like the ones in the front. So we're not gonna cover everything. Just like that, very cool. Very cool little thing. If you are watching on YouTube and you do like this video, please press the thumbs up. Super important on YouTube. Yes, please help us. Please help us. We need your help making this a little bit darker. It was too like blue. We need to have it be a little bit darker in that purpley color, the same color that we like using. All right, just like that. That's cool. Just the smallest little thing can, can change something or fix something or do, just make the smallest thing just the slightest bit better. So take your time. Maybe we'll put in another little, little bush back here. He's a little bit closer down though. It's closer down to the edge of where our little path is. Take him, pull him back, saving the edge of our pathway, right? Matthew McDaniel says, hey Josh, how's it going? Hey Matthew McDaniel. Very cool, just like that. Don't want to cover the bottom, don't have to cover everything at all. Take it, kind of pull it out in each direction. You get these cool little bits, little bits of uh, 
bush or whatever they are. Whatever you want to call them. Very cool. All right, let's take one, we'll do one more big ca uh, cactus over here. And we need that filbert brush back, but I need it to work properly. So. Keep your hair on, filbert. Yeah. <laughs> and I need like the smallest <laughs> amount of that light colored sandy bit so we can create the other side of our path. Maybe work those guys in together. Yeah, yeah maybe not. <laughs> there we go. I just can't get enough of this brown. And I don't want to get any more out, you know what I mean? But I cannot get it to be a color that I like. Oh, that might work. This might work right here. A little bit of crimson in with it. Alright, I'm gonna crimsony brown. All these different colors. We're gonna mix in just like that. Add some white to brighten it up. Just very lightly. Trying to work it. There we go. I like that. That's good enough. That is good enough. A couple little darkness areas in here. Just give us the effect that it's not flat, not a perfect smooth surface, right? Yeah, cool. We'll lead now to this area over here and we could put a little fence there, do all sorts of stuff. Whatever you guys feel like doing on yours doesn't always have to be the same as mine. All right, a little bit of blue, a little bit of black, a little bit of crimson. Might as well throw a little bit of that brown in since we're going to scrape up all this paint anyway. And up here, it's got to be taller than our mountain on the side. So right up into here, and we'll do a little cactus like this. Pushing real hard so it's as flat, you know, as thick as it can be, basically. 20 bucks. 20 bucks what? I made on TikTok this week. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. 20 bucks. All right, we're going to come over one half of a... Oh, there's a whole big glob right there. Uh, one half of the brush, so we get, a, we get a one and a half distance thickness right here. Now this guy, on the edge, there's like a, a roll of paint. Man, just like that, a giant roll. It got smushed and pushed out of the way. All right, very thick on there. Don't even have to go all the way to the bottom because we're going to put some, some bushes, big, big bushes down around the bottom. So, very soft. You want to have it be circular. I think that's why they made the filbert brush that shape. So you could paint a cactus like that. Now, they're not like trees where they get super thick down around the bottom. They're pretty much the same distance from, from top to bottom. But they do widen out a little bit depending on the species of cactus. It widens out on the bottom just a little bit to hold up all that big stuff. Big old arms and all that stuff. Okay, we're going to switch back to that other smaller brush, back into our little mixture. So we're going to add a little bit more green on the top of this guy. And then maybe up here, we've got a little bit of an arm. Comes down like that. Bam, bam. It's all about angles, right? Because the angle determines what, you know, how your, your cactus looks. What, how it's standing, you know, what angle we're looking at it from. Here we go, getting up all this giant amount of paint. It all kind of skirted away. There we go. Got to be so careful with a sunset like that. All right, maybe over here we've got to just use the other bit of that paint, and we'll come down, and of course we're going to have to extend that guy a little bit. Can't have him just be a little skinny arm. Doesn't look right, right, babe? Right, babe. I'm so tired. I know. I'm so, we're almost done. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. There we go. All about the angles of this right here. If it's angled on like a 45, it means that arm is kind of poking out towards us at the camera, right? This one is kind of poking out this way because he's very straight. So it all depends on how you look at it. And you got to make them about the same thickness all the way around. 
So if you got a thick arm down there, you got to have a thick top to it. Julie, thank you so much for buying that. Julie bought a hat? She showed sure did. Oh, Julie! She's the best. All right, you know what? Instead of having another arm down around on the bottom, watch what we're going to do. We're going to put that little bulb. Like there's going to be an arm that's going to grow out of there just by turning the, the thing in a circle. And we've got a little bit of a, a bulbous area that we can throw a flower off of and do all sorts of stuff. Did you say bulbous? Bulbous. For anybody looking for alternative rights clothing uh, that you may be interested in, uh, I have an Etsy store up right now called We All Deserve Rights. Um, if you can go over there and get your... So go to etsy.com slash shop slash We All Deserve Rights, and it'll pop up. Or if you're, you have the Etsy app, you can search it, and it'll come up that way. Go ahead, honey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... That's right. Now this big giant bit of nastiness down around the bottom. This is going to complete the, the bit of the painting, right? All that thick, gross paint. Nice and thick and textured. Different little things that come off of it. Turn our brush in different ways. And now we can see our path. Obviously it goes back behind the, the cactus back here. And then continues along in the front. Just like that. Now we can take the very, very, very bottom of this down here. And start to pull it very small angle just the very bottom though right and poof now we've sat everything right up in the foreground just like so and we almost can imagine you know what we're gonna have to do it is take our mountain right bring it over this way and that's gonna open up this little walkway that we're gonna walk through Just like this. Now we're going to take a little bit of that brownish. If I have any left, I have to scrape it all up. Just any amount of this brownish color left. And we can work that guy into our foreground right there. Boom. Now we have a cool little pathway we can go through. It's almost like we've come through the desert right over to here. And we get this fantastic thing that we can now see off in the distance. There's a, a far off butte. It's a beautiful butte. It's a beautiful butt. There we go. All right. Just like that, we're going to highlight this last thing. And we'll be good to go. A little bit of liquid white. Back into that green. Let's drag it down here. Right through there. And we're going to come back in and just sort of pop it in there. Just like we do with our bushes and our, our waves and stuff. Little different areas, turning the brush. You mean like differences in color? Differences in color! Rotating. You put a little bit of it down there so when we go to pull out, there's just a little bit of difference. Just like that. All right, let's do... Get our liquid white back into that same color. All right, get a little bit of our thalo green down here. And then we can kind of brighten up the one side. Let's pick this side. Right, just on the edge, because it's not the whole thing isn't going to be bright. If we've chosen this right hand side, Yvonne is in the house. Then we'll go down the right hand side. What's up, Yvonne? Yvonne, what's your favorite sandwich? Just, what is the just like that. Doing right at the beginning of the live, we did ask three right. questions. What time is it? Where are yeah. you? And what's your favorite sandwich? Yeah, where do you live? What time is it? Where you are? And what's your favorite sandwich? We have to know. It is imperative. Not sure just why, a little bit. Is. Dave, at some point, are we going to take these suggestions and mail these people sandwiches? Or? Uh, I, 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 uh, I don't think so. Okay. It's a good idea. Roast beef. I don't think so. Roast beef. It's a good sandwich right there. The sandwich question is to get the audience talking. Oh, not to make them hungry and think we're going to send them sandwiches. Yeah, no, I'm not sending uh, you a sandwich. <laughs> Alright, let's take a little bit of that red in there too. Just to have a little difference in color so it's not all the same. I didn't feel this tired prior to Kane's, so it's Kane's fault. Oh, definitely Kane's fault. Uh, peanut butter and jelly and honey. There we go. We don't want to, peanut butter, jelly, and honey. All together. Jelly and it, because it's usually either peanut butter and honey or peanut butter and jelly. Never both. 
Well, I used to buy that peanut butter, didn't I? Oh, yeah, it's got the, the... Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. Now, we need to stay darker down here, right? Because we've taken up too much of our shadow. So we're going to make it dark. Taking our black. This is a silhouette with a little bit of a highlight on it in different places, right? Patsy says it's 1019, fresh tomato, homegrown. Uh, and she T is just a fresh tomato sandwich. What's on a tomato sandwich? So just tomatoes and bread? Or maybe seasoning. I don't know. I'm down, Patsy. If I'm ever in, uh, if I'm ever in Killeen. Oh. Where now? Uh, a little bit of liquid white, a yeah, little bit of red. if I'm ever in Killeen, Alabama, I'm stopping by for a fresh tomato sandwich. They sound fantastic. Robert Sobshack. So. Yak, subs, subs. This is why I don't read names. Uh, grilled ham and cheese. Grilled well, ham and cheese. I like that. It says, feel like I'm in Arizona at my sister's. Usually, you put me in Alaska North Pole with Santa Claus. All right. A little bit of white just on the inside of that guy, just to draw oh, in the hummingbirds. Patsy says tomato and mayo, which is not really that far off of my favorite sandwich. Yeah, London's favorite sandwich is uh, cheese, American cheese. No, some not American cheese. A provolone. Yep. Provolone cheese, um, some cucumber slices, and mayonnaise. It's the most weirdest, foulest, not foul, but the weirdest sandwich for sure. Jonathan Evely says, not many sandwiches I don't like. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brenda says, it's 820 from Prince George, Canada. Sandwich is a BLT. Nice. Good sandwich. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Look at all this. The yellowish, brownish, crimsonish, purplish, black, green. All these little differences in what, guys? Yeah. Hey! Look at all these brushes we went through. Did we even use the two-inch brush? No. Yeah. It's been so long. It's been so long. It's not that long. It's only two inches. Yeah, right. See, London is hilarious. That was funny, babe. That's really funny. I'm funny. She goes, it's not that long. It's only two inches. It's a two-inch brush. <laughs> She's hilarious. Okay, let's back the cameras out, and then we'll see. I might have to just get down here on the floor of London. Babe, we'll have to end the live. There's no birds. There's no birds. I can tell that. You guys didn't think I knew? Correct. <laughs> it's probably true. I would have forgot. Or a signature. But. Yeah, well, we're not done done. I'm just Sorry, it sounded out. like you were done done. Daryl Van, Van Dyke says pulled pork and coleslaw. Oh, that sounds lovely. That does sound good. Uh, Yvonne says, can my favorite sandwich be a margarita? Of course can. That's my favorite sandwich. There's no rules here. Glenn says, provolone, Swiss, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayo. Oh, that sounds like constipation. <laughs> uh, Patsy says, big difference in homegrown and straw built. Robert says, you don't need birds. Robert, you must be new here. Yeah, these birds, <laughs> Robert, they they signify myself, my wife, and my daughter, and they go into every single paint with Josh painting as part of the signature. Just a little cute little thing that we do. It seems to have inspired other people to paint their family into their paintings as well. There we go. Like they're flying out, man. That's the only way we get to travel is through our paintings. And uh, we get to go to all these beautiful places. Now, should we put a UFO in this one or no? What time is it? See, I told you about an hour and a half we'd be done. <laughs> Robert, we're just joking. He said sorry, didn't I? No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, yeah. You'll see a lot of birds. And, you know, I used to see them all the time. And I, did, I didn't come up with the idea of putting birds on a painting like this with a little V-shape. But I sort of came up with my own idea at least to put, you know, signify them as my family and then at least use them as part of my signature in every painting. And then that sort of inspired other people. I see paintings with two or four or five or whole flocks of birds. So, where are the signatures? We go on this side, kind of hiding in the shadows. But yeah, and don't apologize. It's not a, not a thing, especially if you're a new new viewer. We appreciate you viewing. Yeah. And uh, now let's you know. Let's go into every painting. And let's, it's a flag of some description because you didn't put birds in the flags, did you? Yeah. There. 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 And all the oh, flags. Oh, it's just me blind. That's yeah. fine. You're in all the flags. That's fine. 
<laughs> but yeah, it's sort of inspired. The coolest thing is that when I see them and people go, oh, like paint with Josh, I love how you do, you know, your family and you add them to every painting and blah, blah, blah. Not blah, 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 but you understand. <laughs> <laughs> and blah, 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 blah. Uh, Yvonne says, yes, please, UFO. Please, UFO? Do we have time, London? Do you want to? I've got to go, go drive, babe. I know you got to go. So let's just skip it. We'll skip the UFO for this one. I'm painting two UFOs tomorrow in my paintings, so at least we'll have some UFOs there for you guys. Right on. All right. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. It looks good. It looks good. Let's clean the brushes real fast. We'll tell you all the links you got to go she go check out. The first one being the link tree link that London posted a while back. Uh, that has every link all together. I'm going to repost it. She's reposting it right now. And that'll have every link of mine all on one page. So you go to that page and go here, do, 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 do. Right, I want to go to the Etsy store, or I want to go to the website, or I want to go to the YouTube channel, or the Instagram page, or the TikTok channel, or whatever. You can get them all there. Or you can go uh, to my Amazon affiliate link, which is amazon.com slash shop slash paint with Josh. Before you buy anything on Amazon, Type that into the, the, the top, right? It will open up Amazon. It will come to my shop. You don't even have to buy art supplies. Just go through to that link, bring it to my shop, and then anything you purchase, once you've come through my link, is going to pay me pennies. It's, it, but it's going to pay me a little bit of money. So we have to tell you that it's an affiliate link, but everything that I use or that I wish I had or wish that I could get um, is on that, that store. So... Bigger easels, smaller easels, little things, canvases, brushes, all sorts of stuff that we use. The Bob Ross Liquid White and Liquid Clear, if you need that, you can go get it there. Oh, man. I am so dry-mouthed and out of breath. It's been a good long Friday night for you guys. A good long one. All right, let's finish cleaning off these brushes just real quick. So yeah, go to the Amazon shop, go to paintwithjosh.com. Always go to paintwithjosh.com. You're always going to see new stuff over there. Are you packing up tonight? Are we packing up in the morning? Uh, probably tonight. It's not that much. But yeah, um, I do. I have to break down the, the easel, take it over to, uh, take it downstairs and take it over to go paint in a different place tomorrow. But you're not going live. You're just going to film it, right? Yeah, I'm just going to film. I'm not going to... When I go live at those events, I get the copyright because every business always has music playing in the background. And then Facebook thinks that I'm trying to use that music as my own background music when it's not like that. I don't want any background music. I want you guys to hear every little brush stroke on the canvas, right? Every little sound and scrape and noise and little beater bucket noise. You got to have that. So we'll do a... We'll tape some stuff and... And then I'll put out little shorts of, you know, how to do a mountain or how to do a UFO. Little things like we do every week. I, I literally take, you know, the, the videos that we film and then I break them up into little one minute clips of doing different things. And we usually put out about three or four of those uh, per painting per week. So we usually do about three paintings a week, which means about nine to twelve little uh, short videos on how to do clouds or how to paint a cactus or how to do this or how to do that little things so that we never used this brush is filth and this is the last one you want to get ready babe oh yeah hold on i get up you gonna get up off the floor yeah i only have one home so hold up do you I need didn't... help no i didn't even use any arms <laughs> she just legged it uh, you uh, received 400 stars. We'll have to go back and find out who they're from. Oh, I wow. Thank you. This time. Um, Let's screw, look at all that paint. Should we do another Santorini smoosh? Yeah, for sure. So you guys can get Santorini stones from Yvonne if she's still watching. She sells these very soft, very cool stones for painting. I don't have any smoosh stones. Use this one. I was messing around with this one the other day and was going to leave it as like a backdrop thing. But literally take the paint that we have, and they're so soft and so smooth that they, they suck up the paint and dry almost instantly. So we try to do some form of weird, like, abstracty, you know, I don't know. Yeah, if I'm, How's that look? I'm watching. How's that look? I don't know why I said it in that voice. I don't think she sounds like that. Yeah. Hey, what did you do to this brush? Oh, it's, I need to wash out with water. Oh. Uh, and then we'll take a little bit of white and just... 
See? Abstract Josh. Paint paint with Abstract Josh. We'd make three minute videos. It'd be done. This looks like a giant mess. Yes. This was a good one. It's almost like a like an impressionist landscape. Uh, sunrise or like a meteor into water or on the beach there's some foam there's some some sort of impressionistic landscape in there i just can't see it <laughs> it's all right that's the point of abstract yeah right okay well we want to thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out and uh you know always trying the videos sharing liking uh sending us messages um Everything, everybody who shops the store, everybody who likes and taps, and whose fingers are sore right now because they've been tapping so many times that they just can't tap anymore. We appreciate all of you guys. You don't have to spend any money to support us. You can share. It's just a, a simple click and then poof. Now you've opened up my audience to, to hundreds of more people. But just because you shared the video, you know, and you never know, one of those people might be looking to buy a painting and they might want to buy this painting. Well, they might buy a hat. They might want to buy a hat. They may want to do something. Or they may just become a new Paint With Josh fan, which is what the goal is, right? We share to the world so we can get the whole world in this little room and paint with us. And for anybody who has an experience to share or doesn't feel like they have a space to talk, uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow, post-standard post time. Post-standard. Pacific is, standard where time. Where is post-standard time? <laughs> Pacific Standard Time over at TikTok, London is hilarious. Come in, share your experience. You don't need to turn your camera on. Yeah, um, you don't have to be on video. You can go yeah. talk about something that happened at the doctor or something that happened at Walmart or, you know, you can get really political or you can get really funny or you can do whatever or it can get really serious and be really sad. You know what I mean? Share a real personal story that, you know, you don't have anybody else to talk to about. London will sit there and and talk to you and if she can give you advice and all the other people will be giving you advice that are watching and she gets hundreds of people that watch these things and like to just come on just for a minute or two and say hey this is what happened to me when I went over here uh, you know or I had this great experience with this or that or whatever I think this jar is just had about just enough look at <laughs> that that's foul so Lovely. yeah it's gross but yeah go over and check her out it's uh, tiktok.com slash that no, at symbol. I don't, no, I don't think that's right. Yeah, no, it is. I don't think it's right. I guarantee, because I, I had to do it. Right. I had to do it for my own. Yeah, but I yeah. don't think that's right on mine, because I tried it and it didn't let me that. Well, then so, search London is hilarious on TikTok, but I'm yeah. telling you, you have to put the little at symbol after the slash before your name. So it's like slash at London is hilarious. It's weird. I had to do it for um, when I tried to share my link the other day. Oh, no, there's glitter in my drink. Mm -hmm. That's poo. It's all right. Now you'll have glittery poo. Oh. Okay, we, right. lo we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. It means the world to us that you stop in and hang out with us for an hour. An hour and a half. More than that today. Jeez. Yeah. So, and we love you, and we know that we, not everybody's on our time schedule, and it's late for you guys. Um, I literally can't go earlier. It's my job. <laughs> I can't do it any earlier. Uh, I can only be home and do it when we have time, right? So... Uh, but yeah, we want to thank you guys for tuning in, for hanging out, for checking out, uh, checking out this painting. And we know, hang on, let me start that over. Okay, Let's we're not this recording again. this, babe. It needs to be like a one-shot live version. Yeah, that's why all the bloopers on my videos are so popular because I try to do these things in one take, and they normally don't go in one take. And so there's like three to four minutes of bloopers at the end of every single recent video. So check them out. You can either scroll to the end. You don't even have to watch the whole thing. Just scroll and check them out. But all right, let's do this. Here we go. <clears throat> Jesus! <laughs> I think I just sucked in a piece of glitter from that uh, from that drink. All right. So, guys, we want to thank you for tuning in, for checking us out, and until we see you again uh, next time, either five seconds from now, next Friday, next Sunday, or Wednesday when we put out videos. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all the stars and the shares and the love and the comments. We love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And until we see you guys again next time, take care. Have the rest of a good day. And ba -bow! get out of here, babe. All these new people are like, what is this noise? Ba -bow! Why does he do that? I don't know why. It's just